Founders Summit, we sat down with sleep apnea patients and asked them to discuss their experiences. This is what they told us about their rock bottom moment with sleep apnea. This is Dr. Joseph Pirelli. I would say that day that I collapsed in the shower, I sort of realized that this is, you know, I was literally suicidal at that point. And that's about as rock bottom as you can get. And as we know that insomnia is sort of the number one association with suicide now. And I experienced that. And it's just the point where you see that you continue to decline cognitively like someone that might have Alzheimer's disease. And it's very slow. It's very insidious. And you get to the point where you realize that you really cannot function. You're a basket case, right? And you just cannot go, go on any further. I sort of reached that point earlier and sought out, you know, the healthcare system. But because of the type of sleep breathing disorder I have, I was misdiagnosed. This is Karen Wolk. Panic attacks and memory loss and attention problems and being tired all the time. And that led to years of going from doctor to doctor to doctor that my psychiatrist sent me to while trying to manage my symptoms. I did not find out that I had sleep apnea until late 2015. By the time I hit rock bottom, I had been diagnosed with a mild cognitive impairment. And I had been told by the neuropsych that I had somewhere in the five-year range where I may be diagnosed with a form of dementia. So I would say that at about, about um, 20, it's around 2017, I was pretty clinically depressed. I had um, taken, um, I had to go on disability from work for a year and I ended up losing that job. Um, I guess they didn't want to wait for me to come back. This is Brian Delaney. My rock bottom was when I was driving home from work. I guess I felt like I was getting hypnotized as I drove. You know, your, your brain just sort of shuts off, but your eyes are open. And you're not really picking up what's, you're not reacting to what's going around you. I got off on the wrong exit and didn't really notice. And then the next thing I realized, um, doing 45 miles an hour in the car in front of me is like 20 feet away. And then I just crashed into a woman. That culminated in hitting like five other cars. That was my rock bottom moment. Because I knew it was definitely, <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember, my eyes are open. They call it a micro sleep, I guess, is where your eyes are open, but your brain's off. Because I was so deprived of sleep over that, I'd say, six-month period, that by the time I, when I had this micro sleep, I, I really never, I didn't sleep for <laughs> like a six-month period. And that was my rock bottom, you know. That was, uh, you know, a near-death experience right there. This is Janice Sternfeld. I had a very deep uh, rock bottom. I had um, an episode of very severe pneumonia, and I think I nearly died during that. That led me to get pulmonary function testing to find out that I had severe asthma. But part of that process was I finally got convinced to have a sleep apnea test. And it had been about two years at that point that my husband slept on the couch rather than complaining about my sleep apnea or my snoring. And uh, when I had all the respiratory problems, I finally got convinced that I needed to have a sleep apnea test along with it. This is Matt Gentry. The rock bottom for me was when I lost everything. I had lost my marriage and I felt like I was dying. I kept waking up through the night because I thought of it was always just the back pain, but it was because I couldn't, I wasn't able to sleep for years. And it was the worst, I can't even describe it. There's the show Stranger Things um, on Netflix. There's the Upside Down, and that's how I think of it in my mind. It's a very dark, dark, bad place. And um, I have to always had thoughts of suicide, for sure, and nobody understood. It's nice to be here to know that you're not alone, that I'm not alone. It's very scary stuff. I think everybody's asleep now, <laughs> living, living the nightmare, unless you're wearing the mask, you know, because you don't know. You don't know, I was, I was very sick. For more information, visit our website, sleepapnea.org, the American Sleep Apnea Association.